okay read the problem first and then we will discuss So what is happening here? We have two particles. Let us say one particle is here, another particle is also here. These two particles are thrown in opposite direction. One is thrown with velocity v1 and another velocity with v2 in this direction. Both are horizontal and the gravitational g exists in this region. What will happen? Both will follow basically a parabolic path let us say this is my y axis I choose my y axis in the downward direction in this case this will follow this kind of path or and this will follow basically this kind of path so both will follow a project projectile path let us say this is my positive direction of x axis and this is positive direction of y axis are you getting so we can basically make a solid line here so this is my y axis and this is my x axis and this is path of particle 1 and this is path of particle 2 after some time one of the particle is here after time t and another particle is here after time t at this point of time their velocity vector in this direction and its velocity vector in this direction and the question says their velocity vector makes an angle 90 degree that is velocity vector are perpendicular so if I extend one of the velocity vector so this will be something like this and if I extend another velocity vector so this will be something like this now these two velocity vector are perpendicular so that is they are making an angle of 90 degree after time t let us call this time as t naught so we have to find so let us see find the distance between the particles at this moment so we have to find what is the distance between these two particles at this moment so let us call this particle is 1 or at this point of time this point is a and this point is b so we have to find between distance between a b so how will you proceed so first thing is we can calculate coordinate of a and coordinate of b we can also calculate what is the velocity of a at this point and what is the velocity of particle 2 at this point so let us say velocity we can find so v is equals to u plus a t we can apply now in the x direction if I apply the same equation there is no acceleration so velocity will remain same for particle number 1 this is x axis this is negative x axis so basically we can write minus v1 into i cap so this is your basically vx so vx remains same what is the vy so we can calculate vy so there is no need to put this vector sign here so this is v y we can calculate using same formula but now initial velocity is zero in the y direction and we have taken downward direction as positive so I have to write z as positive so u into t and this is my velocity in the z direction so at point a at point a velocity is so velocity at point a so we can write this velocity is nothing but x component of velocity is minus v1i and what is the z component zt into z so zt and this is a component so this is the velocity of at point a 
Similarly, we can calculate velocity of particle 2 at point B. So if you see, only thing is now this V2 is positive and everything remains same. Only thing is V2 is positive because x direction is in this case. So we can write similarly velocity at point B.